After much looking, I finally found some steelhead. Oh yeah, they're fishing right there. As of April 1st, it is now illegal to fish from April 1st to July 1st in the upper Chillock River, and the boundary line is Tamahai Bridge. So from there up to where we are, the limit hole here, totally legal to fish. It's quite a few kilometers of river actually. So there's no excuse for anybody to be up here at this point. However, this is a new rule. Uh, as of today, it's April 4th. So it's only been a rule for about four days now. While we were getting ready to get in the water here, I noticed some people on the other side of the river fishing. And from here, I thought they were on this side of the previous limit, but as it got closer, I could tell they were on the other side of it. Hey guys, good, good. Are you guys pretty up to date with the fishing regulations? So April 1st, Tamai and up is closed. So just, no, as of April 1st, they changed it. So Tamai up is closed now. So April 1st till July 1st. Tama high and up. So it's like the whole thing. So they just changed it April 1st. So from uh, now till July 1st is all closed, okay? This is a great reminder to keep up with the latest fishing regulations. They do change, so try and keep up to date. I don't think these guys had any malicious intent, so I'll be blurring their faces. As this has only been a rule for a couple days now, it's totally understandable how they would not have known. And I may have come across a bit hard on this when I first approached them, so my bad for that. Um, let's jump back into the water and film some more fish and grab some more garbage out of the river. One of the most interesting shots I got today was of the steelhead swimming by. And when I zoom in here, you can actually see the hook just above its eye with a bead trailing shortly behind it. <laughs> a triple hook with barbs and another big fella. Okay, so we're out here on the Chilliwack River by the Limit Hole. That is a, a nice pool of water that is off limits to fishing here in the Chilliwack River. Uh, and despite it being off limits, we have found all this today. This is a medium hole, which means that we often find more, sometimes less, but this is kind of right in the middle. Uh, and there's a lot of illegal gear in here. Barb gear, triple hooks, big things. Uh, we've got all kinds of stuff in here. So not only are we in an illegal spot to fish, but we've got illegal gear that's being used to do that fishing. And one thing that I wanted to, or I guess two things I wanted to share today is uh, not everyone has the ability to get this stuff out of the water. Uh, it's underwater and it takes, you know, uh, specialized gear and a bit of experience to, to snorkel around and free dive uh, and pull this out from whitewater. Uh, but there's all kinds of stuff on shore that is left behind as well. Uh, and one of the things that bothers me is that fishermen have big fancy fishing vests, waders with all kinds of pockets. Sometimes these vests have like 17 pockets on them. And if you're not filling at least one of those pockets on every trip to the river, 
with garbage, either whether it's your own or stuff that you find on the, on the shore when you arrive. Uh, you're doing a disservice to the river, to the species that you're trying to catch, uh, to wildlife in general, and you're just missing an opportunity to make things less bad. Just be a good river steward, clean up the stuff, fill your pockets. So when you're legally fishing, snags do happen. It's just an inevitable part of the fishing. But like Steve said, you got pockets, so all the garbage you find on the shore, there's no reason why you guys can't be picking it up. So every time you're out, grab some garbage. It helps out a lot. So thanks, guys. As always, big thanks to my Patreon supporters. You guys helped me get out and clean up all this trash. So thanks a lot, guys.